Hello, my name is Lena and welcome to my channel and a new vlog. It's Monday and this week uh, there are two readathons. Gothtober is continuing, it's the whole month, and then actually it started on October 3rd, but I'm starting only today because I needed to finish something. And it's historical fictionathon. So those are the two readathons for this week. I'm just sitting here with my cat in my lap and trying to work. And it's so hard when she's in my lap, but I'm just just cherishing the moment because it doesn't happen often. She's not a lap cat, so whenever she agrees to be in my lap and sleep a bit, I just sit still and wait when she's gonna be over it but hmm books i'm reading this week for gothtober i don't know because the one book i'm gonna start for historical fiction -aton, i don't think it fits anywhere into gothtober because it's historical fiction it's set in the beginning of 17th century here in Latvia. It's like, I feel like it's based on kind of a legend or something like that, but it's when, I think where the, when the crusade came here, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna read that book this week. I have it like on my table. See that ugly book ugly brownish orange book i hate the cover the two books i have currently for historical fiction town both have ugly covers the other one is agatha christie novel i don't remember the english title for it but it has an ugly cover too but that's okay sometimes you need to read not you not that you need to read but sometimes you just read ugly books I guess someone didn't like the author. I'm shocked right now. I just won an Instagram challenge, photo challenge for Illumicrate, and I'm getting my October box for free. Like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> what just happened? I know they randomly choose the winners for like for the challenge, but what? <laughs> really? Me? <laughs> Hello, it's uh, what day it is? Tuesday. For some reason this week again I'm mixing up mixing up days. But I got my fairy loot delivery. The sound wasn't too good, but so let's unbox it. It's the September box and the theme is under the sea. And as always the team card is gorgeous. We have, oh, we have a Tangle teaser, or what, how do you call this kind of a brush? With seashells and bubbles. Nice. I need a new thing for my hair. <laughs> so, it's gonna be really useful, just without my hair. Then the next thing, we have a mug. To kill a kingdom. Let's open the box. Ooh, it's nice. I haven't read the book, but it has to do with mermaids. It has yellow insides and there is a quote. It's like how it's like holding a story rather than a person. She feels wild and infinite in my arms. 
I love mugs. You can never have enough mugs, right? So it's someone who doesn't have space for mugs, almost. In a cupboard. Then we have a keychain that's fallen off the paper. And it says, poor are fortunate souls. Yeah, I thought a little mermaid, like Ursula. It's nice. Then we have Atlantis, like postcard. A real postcard. The next thing I see is metallic straws. One big one and one small one. Be beach please and make waves in the brush for cleaning okay let's not clean the straws then i see a pouch and it says don't grant all the princess requests darling girl men are always asking for more than they should sarah henning see which the colors are really lovely I like it. I like the colors. Inside is ooh, really soft and black. Who knows what I'm gonna use that for? Then we have character cards: eight of eight of swords and seven of swords. I have no idea who they are, but since the last time were never night, these might be two. I don't know. I haven't read that book, of course. And then we have a book. The book. I think the book was Fable or something like that. But I'm not like 100% sure. We have a girl underwater, it looks like. And a letter from the author. Then we have the fairy scoop. Yes, we have Fable and this is an exclusive cover because I haven't seen this one. It has spray, shimmery, oh, shimmery spray edges. I like the cover, I like these, like, see, things. Sign, what else we have? It's plain, dark blue, but it's beautiful. The cover is beautiful. I can update you on my reading since this is a reading vlog. I'm 30 pages in this one. It's a historical fiction set in like beginning of 17th century, like 1600. That's the year. And there is like this king kind of king thing uh, he lived in 12th century or something because i think i told you what this book is about and i was lying so he was like this really great king and warrior or whatnot and this one is about his like last last man of that his bloodline like that's what i got from these 30 pages that he just found out that he's descendant for from him and yeah we'll see what happens i have no idea but i'm reading this one i'm i don't have thoughts as i said on what it is but Hello on Thursday. It's gonna be another unboxing in this vlog because I just got my Illumicrate box. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I love my book boxes. So I need scissors, but once I had he had here the smaller ones are misplaced. 
<laughs> so weird. The theme is sinister surroundings. We have a mug. Interesting that we have two mugs. We had one in a in fairy loot and now one in Lumicrate. The packaging is like Halloweeny, orangey, like I don't know, orange, Halloween for some reason. The first association. Is it written what it is? Heart of the Wood. Designed by okay, Rosie Rosie Thorn eighty eight. But what fandom it is? Who knows? Look at the mug. It's so autumnal. Love it. Perfect for right now. Love mugs. I think I said already that. Then we have the tumbler that we're missing in the previous box, like the August box. I think it, it was Lunar Chronicles inspired. Rampion Captain is King. Yes, it's thorns. I guess we gonna have a straw somewhere, but it's nice. I love. I like it. But yeah, they said they're gonna send it with the next box, so it's here. Yes, here is the straw can you you don't can he, see i did this <laughs> the next thing we have a necklace and looks like it's red rising right this is red rising i haven't read the book but i think it's red rising it's really pretty i need to read red rising I hope it, it is Red Rising, because if not, then I'm... Sometimes I can guess, because I've seen a lot of things. Then we have a wooden bookmark. I have no idea what this is inspired by. And it's quite thick. I have, like, some that are really thin. But, yeah, the bookmark. Then the pin. Let's take it out of the packaging. And it says, student of the... What? Okay, I'm not gonna even try to read it. I think it's monthly book inspired. Yes, deadly education. The pin. It's like a door and something around it, like these things. Then we have a pillowcase. It's really soft, but I can imagine it will, like, the cat hair will, will, will really stick to this one, it feels like. But, I don't know, could it be caramel? Or not? I don't know. I'm so bad. But something with circus or something like that, I think. And the other side is plain white but I like how soft it is it feels so nice okay, let's not drop it then we have a pencil case or something how do you call it I think it's pencil case Conquer some house death conquers all nine house inspired because there is whatever house I don't know what. I could check the spoiler card, but I don't really want to. I'm lazy like that. Ooh, oh my god. We have dark blue spray that just. Oh my god. I think the original is like reversed. It's dark blue with this yellow brownish goldish i don't know what color deadly education listen one of the 
Colomans? What that word is, I don't know. By no Naomi Novik. Oh my god, the gorgeous. The naked book is gorgeous too. And then we have map of the school, I guess. There is a letter. I guess this is counts as signed, but it's like printed. So yeah. There is map number two. But it's pretty. I love the blue color. The dark, dark blue. So now let's check the fandoms. Mm, uprooted. Mug was uprooted by Naomi Novik. Necklace, yes. Red Rising. Carval. Cushion color, yes, I guess right. <laughs> Can't believe that. The pencil case, Nine House, yes, I guess that right too. And Woodmark, Kingdom of Souls. Of course, I didn't get that. Then, the next month's theme is Life and Death. And we're going to have the invisible life of Adi LaRue. I sometimes like when they say what book it, it is going to be. But I think based on a theme, like logo for the month you kind of can guess because of those forget-me-nots I think those are the flowers I think it's already clear what the book is gonna be but I can't wait I can't wait for that box but it's gonna be in about a month but yeah that's it for the update I just had to un unbox it now I need to return to work <laughs> So peace out. I hopefully gonna update you later and then I'm gonna say something about what I'm reading, how I'm liking it. So yeah, peace out. Hello, it's Friday. Finally, it's Friday. I should... No, I should... I need to film a video today. My... I wanted to film my September wrap-up. But it's so gloomy and I just don't feel like it today. <laughs> that means I need to get ready. I need to put on makeup because my face looks terrible. I have a lot of spots. But yeah, I just don't feel like it. And I can't film in front of my bookshelf because it's dark. It's like cloudy and dark. And if I turn you to that, you see, it's really in the dark. I could like move the curtains, but that doesn't improve wouldn't improve the situation that much. So that would mean I would film like here or something. But I don't want to get ready. Mm. But I need that video. I wanted to put it up today. Technically I have a video I could put up today. It's not edited or anything, but I have one filmed, my September book haul. But I wanted to put up the wrap-up first. It's kind of... Where are the books? It wouldn't be, like, too long. Because I read only five books in September. I have them ready <laughs> here. I won't put them away until I film the video. But yeah, I don't know what to do. I haven't washed my hair for few days more than few days so yeah I don't know what to do with it I need to put a hat <laughs> I don't know I need that video but I don't feel I should have filmed it yesterday yesterday was better day today I just feel like getting into the bed and I don't know watching booktube maybe reading just don't feel like anything today I don't know why. I'm cold today too. 
I need to put on something more because I'm cold. I'm having my tea. Yesterday I didn't update you on the reading, as I said, like later I'm gonna update you, but in the end I didn't, of course. But I'm a bit more than halfway through the book. It's reading so slowly. I don't know, I just, I'm not really enjoying it that much. But it's, as I said, it's a historical fiction set in like the beginning of 17th century and I don't know, I just don't see the point of it, to be honest. Like, it's about the man who is the last of, what's the word, descendant? I'm not sure if that's the right word, but he's the last of this ancient king's bloodline. And he kind of wants to take back that king's land. And it's like a bit of, he doesn't have the right to do that, but he wants to, but at the same time, I'm not sure if he wants to or if he's pursued persuaded what's the word uh, to do that so yeah it's weird there are a lot of like not a lot but there are fights where that it's said that like some disgusting things are said but yeah nothing much i would like to finish it today but since it's read so slowly i don't know I think it's because there is a lot of text on the page. It's not even 200 pages, but I've been reading this one since Monday. So it's the fifth day and I can't finish like less than 200 page book in a week, like five days. I should have been able to do it in two days, but it's just, I don't know. I just can't do it. Can't do it. I need to, I hopefully I will try to finish it today but we'll see I have like what 60 pages less than less than 60 pages left I think so it's not that much but oh I, I just don't I'm not I don't enjoy it that's what I wanted to say so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna get myself together and film that video I guess you see it tonight if the wrap up went up on Friday. Then I did. If not, then not. Hello! It's Monday, so it's happy birthday to me. The vlog goes up today, so if you're watching it on 12th, then it's my birthday. I haven't done, like, reading wise anything. I read 15 pages of Lemmy's on Friday night. But I didn't read a page during the weekend because on Saturday we celebrated mine and my brother's birthday with my family. Um, yesterday, me and my boyfriend, we just spent all day relaxing. We watched a movie. We just basically did nothing. We went out. I got a book. My friend has her, like, fifth book out. So I needed to get it. So we went to a bookshop and I bought it. But otherwise, yeah, it was weekend of celebrating and relaxing. But now, yeah, I'm ending the vlog because it's a new week and time to start a new vlog. But last week, like in this reading vlog, I finished one book, I finished I don't have the book here. Name Gradzens. The Ring of Names. I think you can, can... No, I don't think. You can translate it at, as Ring of Names. It's a historical fiction set in early 17th century. I didn't enjoy the book because I don't like war... Not that I don't like war-based historical fiction because I enjoy... Second World War historical fiction, but I don't like the soldiers' perspectives and fight fight scenes and things like that. And 
there were quite a lot of those things in that book so that's one aspect i i know things like that happen but i'm not fond of them especially i don't like reading of them but yes finally one book done for that was for historical fiction a ton and i'm trying to figure out where i can put it in gothtober but we'll see what i figure out it's been on my like tbr for a long time and there is oldest pur purchased i think the prompt was for gothtober but i didn't buy the book but it's been on my tbr for quite some time so yeah i might put it under that one but we'll see what i decide in the end so yeah i'm gonna stop the ramble and this is gonna be end of the vlog thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i don't know i would like to for you to leave a comment subscribe if you are not please thumbs up my video if you like it just yeah and i see you in the vlog next week and then in uh, another video probably on friday so yeah bye